All of crypto Twitter and crypto YouTube is looking for signs of life in a reversal. And it reminds me of NASA looking for signs of life on Mars. So even though I'm a little bit more bearish than bullish for the name of science, I'm going to join this cause and show you what I would be looking for if I were looking for signs of life in a reversal. Are you ready to see what I would be looking for? All right, let's go. Let's state the obvious. This is a downtrend. Lower lows and lower highs all the way down it's still in the channel hasn't broken out what i would be looking for in signs of life of a reversal is this if you do not so i'm on the eight hour chart if you don't have access to this you can apply the same rule of uh, fairly tightly to the four hour chart however there have been in, in two years that i did, did back check this there have been zero exceptions to what i'm about to say no rallies when the daily trend has gone down or even rallies in general when the four hour trend is down, but um, no rallies have happened unless the eight hour stokes have hit the bottom first. And then that rally to the upside is what breaks out. So because the eight hour stokes hit bottom, you didn't get the rally you're looking for. It's already turning back down and it didn't break out. What's going to need to happen is the eight hour stokes. And again, you could use the four hour for this need to head down and turn back around before this is going to have a chance unless something completely new happens for the first time in two years. I really doubt that's that's not statistically likely. So I wouldn't bet on that. So look at this. Turned around there. Where were the eight hour stokes? All the way down. And if you keep doing that all the way back, uh, that's just the way it is. So this is where it turned around. Eight hour stokes all the way down. Keep going. I mean, even when the uh, daily trend wasn't broken, it's still the case. Maybe the four. So the four hour trend was broken here to the downside, right? So look, where it reversed, eight hour stokes down. Where it reversed, eight hour stokes down. You can do this for going back two years. There are no exceptions unless you really nitpick saying this is where it reversed. Oh, Tim, look, it didn't touch. Yeah, it skimmed it. Okay. That, that, that's a touch in my book that could happen, but I mean, just zoom in on that. Uh, you, you can nitpick me on that. Okay. But let's, let's, uh, round down. And, uh, that was close enough, but so, I mean, and so when Bitcoin was trying to break out of all time highs, fairly similar posturing to what we have now trying to break out of uh, previous all time highs, it broke out here, eight hour stokes down, broke out here, eight hour stokes all the way down. So it's very likely that eight hour stokes are going to uh, come all the way down. And what you're looking for here is this, is you are looking for Bitcoin price to not go lower than the middle line on this range. And hopefully it comes down here before the day closes, comes back up and closes the day slightly higher than the other daily bottom candles. But because this rally would lead to the weekend, here's where I here's what I think Bitcoin price will look like if there is signs of reversal because the awkwardness. But before I show you that. Make sure to take this time to flip your phones or get flipped off, flip them vertically so you can hit the like button. And also make sure that you're subscribed to the channel with the bell hit because this is time sensitive information. I can't deliver it to you in a time sensitive fashion without hitting that. And also leave me a random comment down below. It's going to help me continue video making videos for you. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Colsus Verdes2. I make all sorts of altcoin and bitcoin and ethereum updates on there and if you want to chat with me live and directly by using your microphone and your camera links to the discord community in the description section so let's jump back into these charts show you what i'm looking for so most weekend rallies particularly in downtrends don't sustain so this so if the eight hour stocks are going to come down it's come down here well shoot we're heading to the weekend so what i think might happen is if the rally starts over the weekend it's going to come up above it's going to repeat this essentially um so it'll it'll come down over over the week and during the weekend it'll come up it'll it'll range 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 and then if it leaves a baby gap in cmes from the you know from friday close to monday opening it might wick back down to fill that come back up and break above the range it just formed above the top of this channel and once you see that on monday or tuesday that would be your confirmation that hey this rally is going to start and how high it'll go i don't know but that is specifically what i'm looking for due to the awkward nature of when this might start this is going to go over the weekend and weekend rallies just don't really happen in downtrends. OK, they always come back down. So that is if you want to rally, you're going to want to look for something like that. Eight hour strokes coming all the way down. Rally, maybe a baby rally begins over the weekend, but goes sideways on top of that channel, fills the gap real quick on Monday and Tuesday, then starts uh, breaking above the baby range that it created on top. And that's why you're looking for. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. And remember to leave me a comment, hit like and subscribe and hit the bell if you're not if you're new to the channel. We'll see you next time. You just got timified.